today at about 1027 in the morning we had a call come in that there was an explosion at Agilent and our units responded. We had four engines, one truck, two chief officers and one staff officer and the incident was in building one, building one lower. There was I guess a, um, a process involving chemicals and they were cleaning the equipment when the incident happened. The um, I guess there were two injuries unknown of their condition. We do know that there was one major and one minor. The entire building was evacuated and during the, um, the explosion I guess there were eight different chemicals that they were using with this particular process of cleaning. We had an explosion in building one, in the lower part of the building, while uh, some maintenance uh, and uh, work was being done on some equipment, uh, unfortunately resulting in injuries to two employees, one an Agilent employee who was transported to a local hospital. Uh, the second individual uh, is a, a non-Agilent temporary worker, and uh, she uh, chose not to be transported to the hospital. Uh, we have evacuated the building. Uh, probably more than a hundred people are now either having an early lunch or getting together in the cafeteria and about one o'clock we'll be letting them know if uh, they're going to be able to go back to work today or not. Yeah, there was a smoke condition um, in the building when we got here. And you know, there's a number of folks were inside, um, you know, working when it happened, and obviously had to. They exited through the, the smoke get outside the building. We did get a PA announcement that there had been an incident in building one lower, uh, and uh, that the building was being evacuated. Uh, we also, since it didn't involve the rest of the facility, we then let the rest of our employees know what was going on, uh, and, uh, and that's how everybody found out about it.